Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. But... See? <laughs> Nothing up my sleeve. Presto! <laughs> Wrong hat. And now it's time to meet Mr. Peabody. <laughs> Our story opens today high atop New York City, in the luxurious penthouse of perhaps the most famous soldier of fortune the world has ever known. Me. How do you do? Excuse the position, just practicing my yoga. Well, now that you're here, we may as well get to know each other. My name is Peabody. I suppose you know yours. I guess you're wondering about this contraption. It belongs to Sherman. He's my boy. Here, Sherman. Here, boy. Shake hands. Say, hello. Hello. Smart as a whip, isn't he? Now about this amusing little gadget. The story really starts with me, naturally. As a youth, I was just an average genius. The puppy prodigy, they called me. Got my degree at Harvard when I was three. Wagner cum laude, of course. Then a brief period in the Foreign Service. I speak eight languages fluently. All at once, that is, including English. Then a few research projects for the government. And I dabbled in the stock market, where I was known as the Wolf of Wall Street. But somehow I felt that something was missing in my life, so I made up my mind to get a boy. I looked high and low, but couldn't find one that met my high standards. Then one day, while watching some boys at their innocent play, I spotted Sherman. My heart went out to him. I'm always pulling for the underboy. I dismissed the others, and Sherman followed me home. He wasn't at all what I was looking for. Oh, he looked at me with those big brown eyes, but I was firm. I took him home. This is where you live? Yep, that's been home sweet home all my life. Where have you been, you little brat? Just, just visiting. Get in here. One moment, sir. And what do you want, Mutt? The name, sir, is Peabody. And I intend to adopt this boy. Naturally, the newspapers made a big thing of it. Extra, extra, dog to adopt orphan. Doggy wants to be daddy. Read all about it. I had to submit references. So I got some old friends to write letters. Then, of course, I was investigated thoroughly. My background was unimpeachable. Still... But he's not a fit person to bring up a boy. In fact, he's not even a person at all. Your Honor, I consider that an excellent recommendation. And I finally got Sherman. This court can see no reason why. If a boy can have a dog, a dog can't have a boy. Daddy! <laughs> Sherman, let's get one thing clear. I will never submit to being addressed by that ridiculous name. You will call me Mr. Peabody. Or, when speaking informally, simply Peabody. Yes, Mr. Peabody. So, that was that. But I soon found it's next to impossible to raise a boy in an apartment. Guppies, yes, but a boy, no. They need running room. So I built this for Sherman's birthday. Happy birthday, Sherman. Gee, thanks, Mr. Peabody. Well, what is it? Well, actually, it's a time machine. I call it a way back. We just set it, turn it on, open the door, and there we are. Or were, really. Puribusque delenda est, in tres partes argentum sum. What did he say? What did he say? Well, that's simple. He said... Oh, never mind. I'll fix it. So, friends, for a goodbye in a new or used chariot, it's Publius Maximus the Grinning Gaul. It sounded better in Latin. Can we go somewhere else? Of course. With this key, friend. Mr. Franklin, the lightning! I intend to demonstrate the principle but... illustrated by the storage properties of the Leyden jar. B.F., the lightning is... Gee, we couldn't get a word in edgewise. I know. A few more adjustments, and behold, not a time machine, but a should-have-been machine. Observe. With this key, friend... Mr. Franklin, your kite is going to be struck by lightning. Oh, really? It's nice to be a part of history. But all in all, it's just the thing for a boy in an apartment. Eh, Sherman? Well, I thought it was. Of course, he's only a boy, and... Mr. Peabody, that's the nicest present anybody ever had. <coughs> 
Yes, 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 of course, Sherman. No doubt about it. Every dog should have a boy. 